the big question now is no longer whether the Reserve Bank is going to cut rates, but when. On 18th June, it will have the next policy review and there is a good chance that Governor Subarao will cut rates. By how much we don't know, but certainly a token cut of 25 basis points is more than likely given that the GDP growth rate has dropped sharply in the last four quarters and could continue to drop for another quarter or two before it picks up by the end of the year. Point is whether a rate cut will do any good. Now rate cut works when you can, uh, when there is already some degree of optimism. What has happened now is business is not investing because there is a lack of confidence that there will be growth, there is a lack of policy uh, confidence. They are not sure that the conditions are right for them to put big money in investment and new products. Now in this kind of a situation, the only thing that will get them to move and uh, invest is not a rate cut but policy action which tells them that everything is going to be fine, we are behind you and also the government has to send the message that it can get its own budget in order. What is happening now is that the government is borrowing so much that rates are high. The rates are not high because the Reserve Bank wants it so. The rates are high because the government is borrowing too much. When you borrow too much, obviously there is a huge demand for funds from the government which is crowding out the private sector. Now in this situation, cutting rates will help the government more than the private sector. Though it may send a good signal that okay rates can come down, but the, the situation will not change till the policy action shows that the government is going to bring down its own need for funds by cutting fiscal deficit, by cutting uh, unnecessary expenditure. The government, the only area where the government should increase its spending is in investment. So that that again gives a positive signal that uh, other private sector participants can also increase their investments. Now without these two things happening together, that is cut in wasteful expenditure and government spending on infrastructure, private sector investment is not going to begin. So a rate cut is only a signal that may have minimal impact in the short run. So it is over to actually Pranam Mukherjee to act, assuming he is still going to be there and not in Rashtrapati Bhavan. You need to have uh, government acting on this front. Without that the rate cut will only be symbolic.